Mozart originally wrote this piece for French horn, what Sarah is playing is a handmade hosepipe horn and now we're going to show you how to do just the same with these three items. We're going to show you now how to make your own hosepipe horn at home. So of course first you need a hosepipe, yep. <laughs> secondly a funnel, of course this can be any shape, any size and it can be plastic or metal, we've got a plastic one here and you need a mouthpiece. We have a plastic one that we bought on the internet for five or six pounds, so it's not too expensive. One in one end, one in the other, and there you have it, your hose pipe horn. Amazing. I want to see you play this. I think I'll leave that to Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's for some of the sciencey bit. What's really clever about the horn is if we have a long length of pipe, it's a low note, and if we have a short length of pipe, then it's a high note. And the really clever sciencey bit is that if we exactly double the length of pipe, then a note is lower by an octave. And if we exactly halve the pipe, the note is higher by an octave. What we've got here is a 10 foot one, and Sarah's gonna play it for us. Here we go. <laughs> Amazing, and now we have a five foot one, which of course is exactly half of ten. She's going to play this for us. See if you can hear the different notes. Wow, exactly an octave higher. That's amazing. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, a French horn is actually 20 feet of piping. Imagine feet. that. That's this much piping. Oh, no, no, no. Is this this is a really cute, like little kind of cornety type thing. Uh, it's a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. Um, perhaps you can play us a little fanfare to finish.